there's always someone here and they just make such a huge life-changing difference in your life. My name's Elizabeth. Gidget is my current hearing dog. She is my second. Gidget is what the hearing dogs classify as a terrier cross. It's hard at times because even when you know somebody well enough, if they're not speaking or I'm not feeling 100%, my hearing then drops. And because you can't see deafness, people, especially when I was younger, think you're just faking it. It seemed only right when I was looking to change from audiology companies to come in. And so I chose to come Specsavers, the big sponsor of the hearing dogs. And Amanda has been absolutely fantastic. Yeah, her passion is just wonderful. And the rest, as they say, is history. I couldn't be happier. They really do make a difference. I'm Amanda Habig, and I'm audiology professional here at Specsavers. Liz came to Australia Fair for a hearing assessment and a device discussion. The first time we met, I didn't need to check on Liz's arrival status. Gidget joined her, so it was just preceded with oohs and ahs in the waiting room. Untreated hearing loss can cause social isolation and often reduces quality of life. So just as with most medical conditions, early detection is important and it helps you to achieve better outcomes. I've reached now a point that I couldn't manage without Gidget. I could not live independently without her. She does the alarm, which is always a great way to wake up. She does the microwave and the oven. So gone are the days of burnt food and dried out food. She does a mobile phone for me, the door, and uh, the smoke detector being the most important sound that I will ever do. It cost in excess of $37,000 to train each of these dogs. People have no idea at that and they just look dumbfounded and I go, well, they don't get trained for nothing and it takes time and investment. Without the generous support of Lions Clubs, we wouldn't have them. So I say to people, we all know the great work that Lions and Rotary do, but unless you're involved in it, you don't see it. And that's when I say, well, down there, those four legs and the tail, that's part of it. There's a lot of my life that I cannot do, that I enjoy, and I'm no longer able to, but I can't live my life moaning about it, and so I make the best of what I have. The work that the Australian Lions Hearing Organisation does, together with Specsavers involvement, is testament to the good that's still in our world. I'm proud to be associated with a company that puts back the heart and soul in the hearing business. They are truly, truly life-changing, and without her I couldn't live on my own, and I'm so thankful for her for the job that she does for me.